Hey, what's up everyone? Eric Ross of the Guy with the Eye here. I have a very interesting video for you right now, and it's about data recovery. Now, once again, that might not be the most exciting thing in the world, but if you lose video, audio, uh, some kind of clip, some kind of document or anything like that, if you're not a computer whiz like me, I'm not really a computer whiz, uh, and you accidentally deleted it, it, you know, you deleted it from your trash can and everything like that, Mac or PC, you are kind of screwed. You don't know what to do. There are a ton of paid soft, uh, you know, software out there to try and recover your things, and I've been burned on pretty much all of those, free, paid, and everything like that. But it really sucks when you want something and you just, there's nothing you can do. So I've never really had success. Um, so interestingly enough, the other, the other week at this point, uh, someone from Disk Drill reached out to me and said, hey, give our program a shout. So I was not paid at all for this and they said just give it a try and I was explaining how I lost some video clips that would be really interesting to find. I have a thumb drive that's from essentially 2011 I think and I had some of my first or 2010 and I had some of my first projects from back in college when I didn't know anything about video and I don't have them anywhere. I know I had them on there uh, and it crashed and I now that I had the opportunity to see what this is like, and there are a lot of good reviews about uh, this this program about recovery, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. So uh, we're going to pretty much do it live, and we're going to see how it goes. A couple of things I was reading is that there is a free version, but it's not as expansive, but there is a, a pro version for like 90 bucks, which is a lot of money. But if you really need something, you know, we'll see if, the, if this is worth the money. But once again, I'm going to show you what I have um, on the drive, so that way you can uh, see what I'm talking about. I open this up here. I'm going to close that right here. So on my hard drive, or on my little thumb drive right here, it's a small 8 gigabyte one. I'm looking for um, videos that I did back in college. So uh, Captain Indigo is a thing where it was just a small project that I had to do. These were these uh, little things. This was for um, Billboard Music Awards. <laughs> Sound effects were just MP MP3 clips. Papers were just, well, papers. The Sony A7S review, which I put on there. Uh, theology, I had to take that back in the day. And stuff for uh, storyboard and directing. So I don't have this on here, but I know back in the day, I had this on here. So I'm very interested in checking this out. So once you launch, uh, once you download everything and you launch it here, uh, this is pretty much what it comes up and whatever you have connected. So you can actually go through your uh, your hard drive on your computer. Once again, this is both Mac and PC, and you can go through whatever external device you put in. So I'm going to try this, and we're going to see what um, what we come up with. And I accidentally started it, so you can do like I don't really know 100% what all the stuff is. So if you're better at this, you might understand. You can do like quick scans which i think just kind of looks at like a layer surface but deep scans and obviously it's going to take a lot longer it goes through every kind of partition and everything i don't know if i'm speaking english but uh we're going to look here so we're going to hit here preview session available All right so we're going to do it so this is what it looks like here when it first comes up so it's going to go through the eight gigabyte hard drive in full and you can kind of see it um you it can break it up by what it you know what it's finding so once again i'm going to be looking for video on this you know there's some pictures and everything like that what stuff is this that's interesting too i don't have actually i don't do i do i even have these on there too oh that's all right that's interesting too so it actually found pictures from uh once again from back in uh 2012 when i really first started doing photography of this little thing that we were doing back in class once again that's not anywhere that's only on this little thumb drive that i have um this is very interesting too so it's finding pictures that uh were deleted off of here because i didn't need them but i'm looking for video so when video pops up i'm going to let this come back but i'm not going to do anything until then. about two minutes after i said that there's video popping in and you see it's building as we're speaking right now i've got some documents and everything and it's interesting how they're laid out you know it's still building the video but essentially two minutes after that or an eight gigabyte drive uh it started to pop up all this stuff i think dv our little mini dv clips that i had back in the day too um does this let you like preview anything? Oh my God. Oh wow. Yeah. These are little clips that I had when I did my uh, little mini documentary thing. And I guess that was from, you know, breaking it up, but I don't have this video on here. This is on a different, this is, I only have that video on um, one of my external hard drives here, my Seagate hard drive. So this is pretty cool. That's interesting as well. Okay. So it looks like it finished. It gave me uh, a, you know, a notification here saying that it finished. And it said that it found uh, three movie videos from 
I, I guess I don't know one. I guess it doesn't tell me. But l let's see what it's again. So I'm actually searching for something from my ESL class back in college, editing sound and lighting. And these were these little mini projects that you learn techniques and everything like that. Um, a friend was asking for some stuff, and I realized I didn't have it. And everything just kind of worked out with that with this company reaching out and saying try this and i know i still had this drive because i had a, i have important stuff on it as you see there's still some stuff but not everything that i've had since then and obviously memory has grown since then so there's three videos here let's just see if it'll play one. Oh my god oh <laughs> your boy working with some green screen back in the day oh boy uh so there's that one what is um what's this one same thing as you see you can't really see what you're doing oh and this was a little fake thing i did with like interlaced video um so now i'm gonna see if i can download one or two of these so uh you just select what you need and you hit recover and you pick where you want it to go so i'm gonna have it sent to the desktop hopefully these play out there so it says one is one is done there's no error so far and hopefully it went to the right spot oh it's going to a video folder I think right here okay that's pretty interesting it's pretty cool all right let that finish all right it's a success let's check out the videos here MOV so this should be full-fledged videos from the research I oh my god yeah this I, this has actually worked that's my that's my old friend Mike Lindy from college this is Eric Rossi's ESL project and this is where his mic is and we we're showing how to mic up wow I I'm honestly blown away that I found that I'm not just saying that as well I don't know so this uh this disc disc drill thing is very interesting as I said it it did find what I don't have on my drive and this stuff has been long deleted as I said since like uh, 2011 2012 on you know some of the stuff was going on especially that video but uh this is just an option for you there is a free one which I didn't try I don't know what it uh, does uh as I said that they did let me get the pro version to really try this out but I had stuff deleted on this little thumb drive right here and I was able to find it so it looks like it works pretty well once again I know that's not the most intriguing video in the world but when it comes to uh, data and safety and accidentally deleting something say if you had an important job or job or something like that this might be a good stopgap action uh, action that you could do in trying to recover something so uh, check it out I don't know I'll link it down in the description below so that way you can check it out but uh, Distro, thanks for reaching out. Thanks for letting me know you exist because uh, you're now a little bit of speechless I am because I literally don't have those videos anywhere. And, you know, that's because I was stupid back in the day and I, I have them now. I don't know. It's very interesting. Uh, if you know, if you've had any experience with Distro, please let me know down below. Even anything else as well, please let me know down below. But definitely give this a, a you know a check out. Even if you want to just try the free one, I think it, it's pretty uh, robust as well. But it worked for me. It, you know, it was doing what I wanted it to. So I, I say it's a, it's a thumbs up. You know, something like that. So give it a check. I, wow, wow.